There is never a good time to break someone's heart, but there are certainly better times. Stay tuned for the five don'ts of dumping. I'm Andrea Sirtash, and this is On Dating. What's the worst way to break up with someone? The worst way to break up with someone is a text message. Very impersonal. By either email or uh, a text message? Definitely text message. Can't text message. The worst way to break up with someone is the phase out. The worst way to break up with someone is right to their face. You want to get away from the situation. Probably by email. That's pretty bad. By uh, text message. Worst way, way to break up with someone is definitely in a text message. The worst way to break up with someone is either texting or having a friend break up for them. The lamest breakup story I ever heard was about a guy who took out his girlfriend for her birthday. And as she blew out her birthday candles, he joked that she should wish for a new boyfriend because he sucked. That kicked off their breakup talk. Yeah, it's awkward to end something, and you'll see there's never a good time, place, or moment that feels right to have the talk. But if you've been dating for at least a few months, don't rely on your date to get the message on his or her own. It's simply not considerate. So here's my list of the five don'ts of dumping. Number one, after a few months of dating, don't stop returning calls and disappear cold turkey. And don't break up on email. Have the courage to end it in person. Number two, don't break up in a public place, especially your date's favorite place. You know he or she will always associate you with that horrible night and won't want to go back. Number three, timing is everything when it comes to dumping. So don't break up the night before an important presentation, at a holiday or birthday dinner, or at a family gathering. By the same token, don't let a future double date plan or that new movie you were going to see together prevent you from ending it. Number four, don't be like my friend Jen who claims she's just being environmentally friendly when she recycles ex-boyfriends who are still in love with her. We all like instant gratification, but the general rule is hooking up with an ex who is still in love with you is not a good idea. For one thing, you're making it harder on your ex who may still be in love with you and holding on with false hope. And another thing, you're making it harder on you, because when you meet someone new who you'd rather spend time with, you're going to have to break up with your ex all over again, and that's not fun. And finally, number five, don't gossip about your ex all over town before you end it and after you end it. The world is smaller than you think, and it may come back to haunt you. There is etiquette when it comes to dumping. Be clear, be considerate, and behave. That means no booty calls after you've broken your ex's heart. Thanks for watching on dating. And remember, even a bad date makes a great story. So get out there and always have fun. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.